Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to World of Tanks. Uh, I am here in the Junukai, this is a replay that I had with, once again, A1 Thomas Slayer and his KV-1 that he has his first time in, so he's stock KV-5 in a um, tier 6 game, and uh, yeah, he officially hates the T28, uh, I'm just like Lel, because he says it's his first time in the KV-1, so he's in a stock KV-1, stock engine, stock gun, everything, and somebody on the other team is saying that it's terrible in stock form, so yeah. Um, and so yeah, this is his first time in the KV-1, uh, I'm just going to head over to the side of some counter sand river. Um, or it's assault actually, sand forever, yeah, because there's uh, the one cap point and we have it. So, yeah, so there's not that many people over this end, so I'm travelling over this end to see what I can get done in my um, 25 medium. The premium Type 3 Chinokai, the first Japanese tank that was introduced to the game, so, uh, yeah. Heading over here. Um, I don't actually see that many. Uh, Japanese vehicles that are um, with the standard line. I, never, I, I always only see Japanese heavies, such as that OI there. Um, and so, yeah, you can pay attention to, to chat if you want, but they're just talking about the KV-1 and what gun to use, really. Um, so the 75 on this gun is actually pretty good. Um, it's a pretty standard medium tank gun. It has um, decent enough penetration, pretty good damage, and um, that damage is going to help me here in the um, fight that I have up ahead. Um, so, this does start out very badly for me. I almost die at the beginning here because I wasn't particularly paying attention when I was actually fighting. Um, so, he can apparently fit an 11mm gun on his KV-1. Uh, good luck with that. Um, but there's an OI experimental that's been uh, spotted over there, and I want to get shots on him. But yeah. So, we have a T28 with the F30. Um, T28E. So, yeah, don't worry, boys. We have the uh, good tank there. So, oh, my experimental, not quite popped over the ridge line there for me to shoot at him, so, unfortunately. Mm. Um, but still, an OI has been spotted over there, um, and I am cut, and I was, I was on top of that ridge line to try and get some sniping fire into some people, but, uh, nobody's been spotted for me. The OI's taking some hits, and he will die shortly. Um, and so I'm sort of sitting here. Seeing if I can get spotting damage on some people. Um, for some reason it isn't coming up with um, the reload time on my gun, which I normally have because that is a default World of Tanks setting, so I normally have the reload time on my gun, but in this replay it's some... Um, for some reason isn't actually um, being there. But um, So OI gets killed by an OI. Sherman 3 comes around, um, and so I'm going to let him pop out in order to let me shoot at him. He is using the... Uh, uh, he, ah, is that actually a two-pounder? Yes, it is. He's uh, using a two-pounder gun, or six-pounder even. So he injures my driver. I'm putting shots into him. I'm pretty much just holding down the fire button here um, whilst he's shooting at me. I did want to keep popping up um, in and out of cover. So he almost kills me because I had stopped right there at the at the very end. Um, I forgot to click the button to actually kill him. Um, but so now I'm left on 53 health. So you're going, oh, you're such a noob. You took so much unnecessary damage. Oh, you should have let him come around the corner for the T-28 to shoot him. Yeah, but I didn't. So, hey, on Thomas is in his stock KV-1. For some reason, went all the way up there. You can see his um, little dot there. He goes all the way up there and dies from a T-28. Um, or from a T-34-85, even. Um, so, yeah. And, of course, he rages about the mechanic, and there I am, just like, ugh, can't even. Um, but, so I head up, you know, spot some of these people, perhaps proximity spot them. Then a KV-1S gets spotted, so I'm like, ooh, KV-1S. So I shoot, didn't really have much room to shoot at, and I was too far away, and I wasn't scoped in, but hit him again, damage his track, he uh, has now spotted me. I put one more shot into him, which is a wonderful um, hit into him. He is moving backwards, as am I. I fire, I miss, he's getting shot at by loads of other people, because he's too busy concentrating on me and not other people. He falls into cover of that rock, um, I aim for his cupola, missed, hits the rock directly in front of it, and so, yeah, I was cheated of a kill there. Oh, well, cheated of some more damage, but, uh, yeah, so. And he, for some reason, doesn't like me shooting at him. Um, as you can see, <laughs> F off, shitty. 
Chinese premium tank, and then I correct him and say it's Japanese, actually. Um, <laughs> there you go, Japanese, actually. So I still have my injured driver. Um, T3485 on the other team <laughs> says, yep, <laughs> it's Japanese. Um, he agrees with me. And then there's an ARL over here. I want to get some shots into him. T28 just drives in front of me, but I would need to have aimed anyway. I can penetrate there, apparently. Don't know if I hit him. Um, and, yeah... You know, anyone time I was trying to calm it down for some reason, but you know. ARL kills the KVZ. Uh, Wolverine gets spotted. Sorry, I'm just drinking up this tea here before it gets cold. So I moved up to try and get the kill on the Wolverine, and um, then. There is the ARL. I think I may have actually hit him, but I put one more shot into him, leave him on one health. I was cheated of a kill. Um, and yeah. So the RY is also moving up here. Um, then he gets hit by an artillery shot, and so I'm not particularly interested in moving, um, or in getting hit even. So I come over here, start try and hit the Skoda, and then I'm like, no, actually, I'm going to go for this artillery. And I decide to finally get my driver back in action to um, speed up and get this artillery. Because, I mean, it's only my driver, I wasn't particularly moving anywhere faster. I mean, if I, w if I did get my driver into action quicker, I still probably wouldn't have been able to get the killing blows on any of those tanks or get any more damage done, so... Yeah. So I'm moving over here, along with, a T along with the T-28 and an SU-85. Um... And there is the artillery, so I s fire on the move, actually. I thought I was going to stop and aim, but not much of a shoot at, so I fired on the move. He fired at me, missed, and now he's coming in to ram me. I shoot him once, and then I see him coming to ram, and then I'm like, no, 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 back up, and then I then I uh, kill him, so I'm like, woo. And, uh, yeah, and uh, there's only the Skoda 3485 and the Churchill to deal with. So, yeah, that is uh, pretty much my contribution to this game uh, done in my uh, Japanese tank here. Uh, nothing else is happening, really. There's my tank. You can see the uh, shot beginning there. Um, oh, well, one of the shots in my front right there. That gouge, really. <laughs> Wasn't a very clean shot, but um, anyway. So they're still talking about the KV-1 still. Um, Somebody saying that the uh, Skoda D40 is firing gold into the OI, which you maybe, I don't know. Um, and so there's only the E3485 and the Skoda to deal with. So, as I come over here, see the Skoda T40, I stop, aim, fire, miss. <laughs> Box tank is coming over. I kill the Skoda, see the T3485, he pops down, and then. I see him moving back and forth, and then I'm like, come on, pop over, pop over, pop over, and then it, he's not happening. So, I decide to start rushing along with that SU-85, because I'm like, he's not going to take, he's not going to take all the glory, I'm going to go for it. And so, I rush forward to the T-3485, just as I go to jump the ridge, he gets killed. So, jump the ridge... Jump the ridge, and then... Bang! <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that happened. <laughs> so, yeah. That's it. Um, <laughs> I went for the cliff dive. I was just far too late, and <laughs> just crashed. <laughs> regardless. Um, but, yeah, so that was me in the Chinookai. It was a first first class mastery badge um, game, which shows how little people are playing this and uh, actually being good, or indeed how many little how little amount of people have actually got it anyway. So, yeah, somehow that game was a first class mastery, and I did about let's call it 1,400 damage if I did get um, that blind shot on the um, ARL. So, yeah, let's call it 1,400 damage, which isn't particularly that much. 26,709 credits um, after a pair resupply of consumables and things. Um, 
it was uh, 17,515 credit profit 900 XP plus 360 for being a premium tank um, times by 2 for being first win of the day meant that I got 2,160 XP I was first on XP that game somehow only got, uh, then again I got 4 kills well, didn't even realise that um, but yeah, somehow managed to only do that much damage but yet still get 4 kills so um, yeah, so that was um, the game in the Chinukai that I had. Um, T3485 laughing his ass off. Um, and that was it. So, yeah, I will um, thank you for watching, and goodbye.